Is there a life on Mars? And we will uh, get involved with that discussion. You probably, if you're a Unarian student and you've been studying these texts for a long time, you probably know the answer. But it's nice to see how the world scientists, NASA and the European Space Agency, are confirming what Dr. Norman has said. Ernest Norman, one of the first books that he transceived was called The Truth About Mars. And he was sitting down in a quiet, relaxed state of mind, as he often did in the evening. And suddenly before him appeared a man that almost looked Chinese, and his name was Norell. And he was going to be his guide and take him to the planet Mars. So in 33 separate psychic trips, Ernest Norman went to the red planet and was shown that there very much are people living there, an advanced civilization living in underground cities. And um, it's a fascinating um, information to read, but it's even more fascinating now because this was in 1955. Now, because a lot of what's being discovered is validating what the moderator was told long ago. And in our latest edition of The Truth About Mars, which was reprinted in was it 1998, uh, it was right at the time when one of the um, explorations was the little pathway, and it sent back all the photos. And so there's 10 appendices in these books of scientific articles that collaborate what um, the moderator was told psychically um, over, what would it be, 50, almost 60 years ago. What evidence do we have that Mars is a planet where life could exist? To answer this, we must search through the archives of astronomy. Here we find that from earliest history, Mars has been an object of great interest. To the ancients, Mars was only a wandering bright light in the sky. It was the blood-red symbol of war. But to Galileo, the first man to see it through a telescope, Mars appeared as a glowing red disk where sometimes a shadow appeared on one side. As telescopes improved, astronomers began to notice mysterious markings, which they carefully recorded with drawings. Each decade brought new discoveries. It was found that Mars rotated on its axis, like the Earth. It had white spots at the North and South Poles. The dark areas seemed to be permanent shapes. In 1781, astronomer Sir William Herschel, using a telescope of large proportions and increased accuracy, discovered that the white polar caps of Mars increased during the Martian winter and decreased with the coming of summer. By 1840, Interest in Mars had mounted to the point where the first crude map was attempted outlining the areas thought to be continents and sea. Now, the cosmic visionary, Ernest Norman, is the one who brought this through. And it's an easy read. It's, uh, what edition is this? Fifth edition. Hardbound. It's uh, a little thicker than uh, the original version, but it's a uh, must read for anybody interested in the subject, are we alone in the universe? Because we don't have to wait for a spaceship to go to Mars. We already know basically what's what's there, what the, the humans that live there, or the Martians, live there, and they have a spiritual evolution just like we do. It's vastly more uh, advanced than ours. Now, another cosmic visionary, Ruth Norman, or Uriel, as we call her by her higher self, brought this through, which was a revisit to the underground cities of Mars. Fascinating. Uh, it's also got some further updated dialogues with Uriel, the leader of Mars. And it also has some uh, very, very good information on how ha have the Martians ever interacted with Earthians before? And if so, in what manner? what regard. And this gives into past life therapy and karma, an excellent subject to, uh, to read further.